Hey guys, welcome to my channel. There's a lot of spoilers ahead so viewer discretion is advised. So, let's jump in. The movie today we are going to recap is The Tomorrow War. In December 2022, biology teacher and former Green Beret, Dan Forrester, fails to get a job at a prestigious research center. While he is watching the World Cup at a Christmas party, soldiers from the year 2051 arrive to warn that humanity is on the brink of extinction due to a war with alien invaders, the White Spikes. The White Spikes will arrive in November 2048 and kill the majority of humanity three years later. In response, members of the world's militaries are sent into the future through a wormhole device called the Jump Link, but fewer than 30% survive deployment to return in seven days, prompting a worldwide draft. After a year of the draft and a growing anti-war movement, there is little hope for humanity's survival. Dan receives a notice that he has been drafted and reports with other draftees to base it. Training Dan deduces with fellow draftee Charlie that in order to prevent a paradox, those drafted have already died before the war starts. The draftees are sent forward in time to a battlefield in Miami Beach, but few survive, having been dropped in the incorrect location above the city. The draftees are ordered by Colonel Forrester to rescue nearby lab personnel before the area is sterilized. The draftees discover the lab personnel dead, but recover their research. Dan radios to command about the situation, and he is told that no help will be sent to rescue the stranded troops. Many of the draftees are killed except for Dan, Charlie, and Dorian, a battle-hardened soldier on his third deployment to the future. The survivors wake up in a military encampment in the Dominican Republic. Dan is asked to report to Colonel Forrester, who turns out to be his grown daughter, Muri. She requests him to accompany her on a mission to capture a female white spike, which are rarer than the males typically encountered. They trap and cage the female, only to have hundreds of males descend on their position. As the helicopter with the female lifts off, Dan and Muri escape to a beach and radio for rescue. Muri reveals that Dan, dissatisfied with his life after losing the job, he abandons his family and dies in a car crash in 2030. Dan, Muri, and the female White Spike are transported to a fortified oil rig close to Port Nelson, where the jump link is located. Dan and his daughter work on a toxin that can kill the captured female. They find a match for killing the aliens, just as they start to breach the base. As the White Spikes attack the base, the formerly captive female spears Colonel Forrester with one of her spikes. She plummets from the gantry and, Dan follows her off just before he is transported back to the past with the toxin to mass-produce it. Dan tries to give the toxin to the military so it can be sent back to the future, but learns that the jump link is offline, having been destroyed by the white spikes. The world has become chaotic with the news that the jump link is offline. Fortaling the war was lost. Content, knowing that the war is averted and humanity is saved, Dan brings James home to meet his wife and daughter determined not to make the same mistakes that Miri had warned him about from her future. 